Unspeakable tragedy in North Sikkim Zema area where a truck carrying 16 Indian Army Javans plunged into a gorge while traveling in a three-truck convoy. These are first images coming in from the accident site uh, in North Sikkim where the 16 Javans, uh, that was uh, the 13 Javans and three junior commissioned officers or JCOs lost their lives in this in this unspeakable road mishap. Remember that Zema is uh, in North Sikkim, not very far from the Indo-Tibetan border. Uh, this is where a large part of the Indian Army continues to stay deployed. These were border troops who were returning from a deployment uh, headed to another place when this accident took place. Sixteen of them, a horrifying number, have lost their lives in this accident. The uh, circumstances under which the accident took place are, are, are a little sketchy right now, but the terrain in the Zema area is replete with very sharp turns and uh, 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 extreme drops, precipitous falls uh, on the sides of each road, and that's where this t accident has taken place. Bring in uh, India Today's uh, Gaurav Savant, uh, our managing editor, who just returned, in fact, from the border areas of Arunachal Pradesh. Uh, he's also travelled extensively to Sikkim. Uh, Gaurav, you and I have both been to North Sikkim, Zima area. Uh, the area where this accident took place, we are told, has many, you know, sharp turns where this convoy was, uh, uh, you know, moving uh, when this tragedy hit. What more can you tell us, Gaurav? This was a three-vehicle convoy, uh, ALS, um, the Ashok Leyland Stalin trucks, the backbone of the Indian Army, whether it's carrying men or material. Um, and these soldiers, they were from different units. They were on home leave. They were heading home. Um, and that is when, unfortunately, the, early this morning, this accident took place at a sharp hairpin bend. Uh, the driver apparently lost control of the vehicle um, and this truck just plunged into a gorge. It kept, uh, uh, you know, rolling over uh, two sets of roads and then it fell. Uh, there were six, about 20 people on board. 16, including three JCOs, sadly lost their lives. Um, uh, unfortunately, the condition of the four, the other four, also remains critical. Uh, of course, uh, helicopters were pressed into service to take them to the nearest medical facility. Um, and uh, in, in Sikkim, of course, uh, and subsequently, in case required, they would be airlifted uh, further. But the situation, uh, this area, Shiv, as you well know, this is yes. where the Himalayas end um, and the Tibetan Plateau starts. India dominates this area, but uh, after the Chinese transgressions uh, in some of the areas in Arunachal Pradesh, and uh, the tension in Sikkim, there has been a build-up. A large number of Indian troops had been deployed in this area. But it, since India is on top of the situation, some troops were being rotated. Some troops were also going on home leave when, unfortunately, this accident took place. Got to stay with me. Akshay Dongri, our defense correspondent, is also with us. Akshay, the defense minister, uh, you know, tweeted a short while ago. But what's happening, uh, you know, uh, uh, inside the army at this point of time? Uh, obviously, there's going to be an extensive investigation into what happened. Uh, as Gaurav was saying, the truck involved is the backbone of troop movement, uh, you know, equipment, uh, uh, especially in those areas. These are very reliable, sturdy trucks. What more can you tell us? What are you hearing, Akshay? Well, Shiv, uh, the, the biggest point or rather the question uh, right now that is being raised and in fact uh, that will be the next point uh, that is about uh, an inquiry that has to, uh, that uh, rather will be taking place as far as this particular incident is concerned. As, as Gaurav has been rightly mentioning or rather t uh, telling us about the specifications of this particular truck that is in fact considered as the backbone of the army as far as the troop movement is concerned. How come at a hairpin, uh, uh, hairpin turn uh, this, this kind of an incident took place? That will be questioned. Whether there was some sort of lack of, of 
maintenance of this truck, what exact, whether the truck was uh, overloaded, that that uh, uh, will be that all every each and every angle will be investigated, and uh, that then only we can come to a conclusion that what exactly happened. Now these are very rough terrains. Uh, the weather normally is extremely uh, volatile; it keeps on changing from hour to hour, and that is the reason that uh, the army uh, drivers who, who usually transport the troops there are very very uh, thoroughly trained. Uh, so uh, all of these aspects uh, from uh, the the driver uh, to uh, the maintenance of the trucks, everything is going to be investigated as far as the armed forces are concerned, and that is uh, not just to ascertain that what exactly happened, but to also ensure that similar kind of incident doesn't take place because these trucks are heavily relied on as far as the troop movement are concerned, and any kind of a conflict situation, these trucks are uh, in fact uh, the lifeline as far as the troop movement is concerned. So that is in fact a very very sensitive topic, and uh, though it is a very very heartbreaking uh, incident where we have lost 16 soldiers, including. Three JCOs. Uh, there uh, needs to be an investigation uh, to, to, in fact, uh, in, uh, investigate or rather uh, to rule out uh, that what exactly happened and what exactly happened that led to the death of our uh, 16 brave soldiers. Chef.